I work in student services at a university. I'm a senior manager at a automotive company. We met at the University of Florida. We've been together almost 20 years. It's a case for you. They're making a quick trip back east to look at houses. And this time, Kate wants a place with more character. One of the things I love about Richmond is it's not a bunch of high rises. It's really great, walkable city with a lot of greenery. How much did you, you tell Matt that we were willing to spend? I told Matt we could go up to 600. I don't think we need to spend that much in Richmond, Virginia to, to get what we want. I'm more comfortable with five. That gives us a little bit more flexibility. We talked about, hey, we're, we're gonna be on the East Coast now so we can, we can travel more, go see friends, potentially go to Europe. I want one of these old historic charmers. Hardwoods that are 100 years old. They don't make them like that anymore. A uh, porch would be nice. I grew up in homes that didn't have any character and so having character and charm is important. I am looking for a home that was built pre-1940s, whether it's the Dutch Colonial, the Row House. What I'm looking for is 1975 or newer. There's less issues with electrical stuff or with structural issues. What about Craftsman? You know what I like. I just don't want a basic house that looks like the neighbor's house. I love the look of a, of a Craftsman. I love how it's symmetrical. You know I love those row homes. Okay. The row homes right in downtown Richmond. You really get to be part of the community. They're beautiful, tree-lined streets. I feel like we can get more for our money outside of like the city center. Um, I think we can get a garage. I think we can, you know, because all, all of our stuff, our bikes, our kayaks, um, that's gonna be tough to store in like a row home. Kitchen, I love what we did with ours. We refreshed it, we made it more, more modern, but like I definitely don't wanna go through renovating and redoing a kitchen. We've done it before. We've renovated in this house and we love how it turned out. We got Gator now, it's been two years. I love to have a yard. I can see the pros of having a yard with our pup. Let's get this car loaded. Let's roll. Gator girl, let's go, come on. I like the look of these houses. There are a lot of row homes. It's got a cool turret. Yeah, it's that's that's, that's <laughs> different. Got some cool pillars. And it's kind of a blah color. Hey guys, welcome to historical Manchester. Hey. Hi. Hey Matt, good to see you. Pretty close to downtown it looked like. Yeah, just right over the bridge is downtown okay. Richmond. Why don't we check out inside? Sounds right. good. We are seeing a lot of people moving in from out of state because this city is so great, it's so affordable, and you get such a good amount of property for such a great price. Oh, wow. I love the hardwoods. These have got to be original. Original hardwood floors throughout. Okay. Um, this was rehabbed in 2005. 12 foot ceilings? Yeah, 12 foot ceilings throughout. This is definitely an entertaining house. We could have quite a few people over. I mean, this could be a party house. We just need to meet some people and make some friends. Oh, definitely. <laughs> this room's a little sad. A little bit of a bummer. We kind of like an open floor plan so we can kind of entertain and cook at the same time. This is a ton of space, wow. Primary suite. I love these windows. Where would you put a king bed if the doors were there? You can't. You don't really want to put it up against the window. Primary ensuite. Definitely for need a renovation. Yeah, I'd want a, a dual vanity for sure. Sounds like. More money? Yeah. So this leads to the next bedroom. Okay. Everything <laughs> is really kind of everything connected. Is a, everything is adjoining. Yeah. It's like one <laughs> massive hotel. There's a lot of doors. Uh, 1906 was a different time, so different layout. We've got the next full bathroom. It reminds me of like elementary school cafeteria floors. Yeah. Little entertaining area as well up here. Let's check out the backyard. Okay. It is fenced in. Nice. Not a ton of space for Gator. It doesn't have a garage. Past that fence line, your property does extend another 10 to 15 feet, so okay. you do have some potential to push the fence back or okay. build a storage unit or anything like that over there. I think the, the storage shed would be a, a potential option. Well, these windows are great. Definitely has a lot of personality. I think the space is really unique. I like that it's close to downtown. 3,000 square feet. That's a pretty good price per square foot. Oh, definitely. That price at first glance looks great, but it needs a lot of work. When you're dealing with such a big space, the renovation dollars really add up quick. I'm looking more for land and a lot of room for storage. I'd like to see, see some more. To be able to compare. We are so far from downtown right now. This is not where things are happening. It looks like the place we're going to is listed at 495, uh, which is pretty awesome. I think it's this white one up here. Newer colonial build. Okay. 
It, it looks nice. Yep, you got a little bit of brick for flare. <laughs> okay, that's flare. Yep. All right. A little, little pop of color. Okay. Ooh, How's it going, palace. guys? Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. What do you think? Well, I think it took us a long time to get here, but... It's just a little west of downtown. Really well-established suburb. It also looks just like the neighbor's house. Ooh. I'm with you. I don't love the carpet stairs, oh. but I think that's an easy fix. That's such a bummer, though. Here's we... your new house, and here I am with shag carpet stairs. I know. That's a nice kitchen. Look at this. It's got the white cabinets, just like you, you like them. Nice, clean, crisp look. Beautiful island. Look at this, the size of this island. This is a huge island. I really like this kitchen. Does it have the soft clothes? It's got the soft, soft clothes. clothes. <laughs> this is great entertaining space. Exactly what we talk about, right? We want to be able to cook. We want to be able to entertain guests, but do it all in the same space. I will point out that I don't see any kind of cool characteristics. That's pretty, like there's no molding. Okay. This is nice. Doesn't have a, a fence though. Yeah, um, that's a huge deal. A huge deal? Gator could run away. How much is it's a privacy fence? That can't be that bad. Probably going to be between like five to seven thousand dollars. Okay. Let's see what else we got. All right. Dining room. Large. Two car garage. <laughs> this is really good space that we could use. It's a garage. <laughs> it will serve a function. That's all it does. Head on upstairs. On these beautiful carpeted stairs. <laughs> all right. This is this is a nice primary. It's spacious. It could fit any size bed, it looks like. Yeah. You should look into the bathroom. Oh, wow. It's nice. <laughs> this is great. It's got the dual vanity already, yep. which is amazing. It's got the penny tile and the shower, which I really <laughs> like. I don't think we actually have to do anything in this room. Yeah, OK. It's a, it's a bedroom. It's a little small. If we want to use it as an office, we could do that. This house. Reminds me a lot of how I grew up, just kind of square and boxy. So it doesn't have that history that I am looking for. We're still 20 minutes from Richmond. We want to spend time exploring everything that the city has to offer, and we're not in the city here. Yeah, I mean, I, I get the location, but we're right under 500. The fact that it's moving ready, we're moving 3,000 miles across the country. We're both starting new jobs. Um, to, to be able to like enjoy this house instantly is, is a huge plus for me. Today, Ted and Kate are in the Bellevue neighborhood that's fast growing and still accessible to downtown. I think that's it. Is that the house? <laughs> it is so blue. That is an extremely Holy blue house. Holy moly. Let's, let's take a look. All right. Hey guys, how's it going? This is a Dutch colonial, I think, right? Yeah, Dutch colonial built in 1924. Has great bones. Great wow. neighborhood. Just shy of 100 years old. I Sounds love good. this porch. Can you just imagine sitting out on this porch? This is great. This is just what I'm looking for. Oh, look at these floors. Are these the originals? Original floors throughout the whole entire downstairs. Oh, I love them. And these built-ins? Oh, yeah, classic Bellevue built-in shelves. Open concept living room, kitchen area. Look at this kitchen. It's a nice kitchen. This is a nice kitchen for an older home. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This is, I love the light cabinets. I love the backsplash. Didn't look like they finished the ceilings, though. Those are still popcorn ceilings. Yeah. You still got some trim work that we would have to do up here. OK, so. well, let's stop focusing on the negative. How much does it cost to scrape a ceiling? Probably about $2,000. There is an updated half bath. This is only a one and a half bathroom? Oh, correct. Okay. We were thinking about two. This is my favorite part out here in this fenced-in backyard. Oh, Gator would be very happy. It's a pretty big yard. Yeah, that's a good size. That shed's kind of an eyesore, though. Yeah. It is. It would be an easy replacement. Is it possible, do you think, to like do a detached garage? Definitely. You would sacrifice a little bit of the yard space, yeah. but. Yeah. Well, Ted's very much into having storage for all of our outdoor activities, bikes and kayaks. Do the hardwood floors continue upstairs? Yes. Staircase is in pretty good shape. This must be the primary bedroom. This is great. Big windows. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, this is pretty good size. A huge walk-in closet. These older houses, there was really no closet spaces in any of them. So this is really nice to have it in an older wow. home. Well, now that you mention it, I don't remember seeing any closets downstairs. There wasn't any, there unfortunately. There weren't any closets downstairs. Head on out and to okay. the right, you're going to see the full bath. Oh, Matt. 
This is the only bath. That, that's right. This is the. This is one, it? And a, one and a half. Uh, yes. Oh, this is not good. This is super tight. Yeah. Oh, this is sad. Yeah, that's a, that's a small bathroom. This little room over here would be considered your flex room. What's going on with these floors? These are not my hardwoods. So upstairs, they updated the floor a little bit. This room, unfortunately, has the vinyl floor okay. in here. But the rest of the upstairs does carry on that hardwood floor. This is a pretty tight space. This could become a primary ensuite next to the primary bedroom. That's... A great idea. Right? And then I have guests not using my bathroom, which is my preference. Our, our bathroom. Our bathroom. Mm -hmm. What kind of price do you think that might be to take a room that's not at all a bathroom and make it a bathroom? That's gonna be a little bit pricier, possibly in the, like the 20,000 range. Okay. Just okay. because you're gonna have to move the water line. That's it and done. This will make it this house. Yeah. Increase in value. So it, it's a return on our investment, Ted. Did you hear that? I did. Okay, you don't seem to believe it, but <laughs> this could be a great solution to our bathroom issue. Yes, it would just cost some extra money. It's got a lot of the history. It's got a lot of the, the bones and the structure that I like, but also being updated. It definitely needs some work though. That bathroom situation, and, yeah. it'd be a must to put in another full bathroom upstairs. Yeah. Which is definitely gonna cost some money. And then the lack of closets downstairs yeah. is definitely something we would have to get used to. Do you think we need to think fast? How, how quick are things going in this neighborhood? That's the tricky part. This okay. neighborhood is very popular. Okay. If this is something that you like, we need to move on. It's hot and it's okay. moving fast. All right. What did you think of the Colonial Row House? I love the space. I mean, for the price and the square footage. That house had a lot of character. Those beautiful hardwoods. It was a pretty cool house. There's some restaurants we can walk to and some breweries. So I think it's something to think about. What did you think of that colonial new build? That home has no character. I, I would say it lacks character. I wouldn't say it has no character. It lacks, OK. That house had just about everything that we wanted. It is moving ready. That home, you walk in, you don't feel like character. You don't feel the charm. You just feel like there's furry stairs in front of you. That's not hard to redo steps. It's so far away. What did you think of the blue house? The Dutch colonial revival. It was built in the 1920s. Uh, I loved that front porch. It's got all of those charm and characteristics of those older homes. I love the neighborhood. Wasn't too close to downtown, but not too far away. I love the kitchen. It's open to the living spaces, which, you know, which we both love. But man, that upstairs bathroom being our only bathroom, pretty much have to gut that thing. We still have to do a significant amount of renovation. How was your walk, Pupster? Hey, what's up? We chose the Dutch Colonial. This house really was a perfect blend of the other houses we saw. My parents invited themselves up a few weeks in, so uh, I guess that's something we can learn to expect now. It's nice, though. It's really nice that they can make a quick trip, come see the new house, check in on us. So uh, we're really excited to be closer to family. Good did fun. you bring your own coffee maker and toaster and stuff, and it just all matches? We did. It's called stainless steel. OK. Uh, yeah, it's not, not it's, a big it's, it's not that hard to match. We found a great balance between location and just the right floor plan. This is already done. It's opened up to the living room. It's opening up to the dining room. The hardwood floors, they're really, really nice. The kitchen was the big selling point, yeah. for sure. The house was listed at 450. We knew there would be other offers, so we were able to get it at 460, and we're really excited about that. It's considerably below our, our price that we were looking for, which gives us some room to, to do some renovations and really make it our own. We've been in the house for about two weeks now. We've gone furniture shopping. We've also had some contractors come by because we're pretty anxious to get moving on that uh, primary ensuite. I think the second priority after that is to probably gut that hallway bathroom and really make it more modern. So was it much of a debate then, or how did you decide? We comp compromise because we have uh, I, I, I sense the pause I, I mean we did we came to this decision together I think Ted was happy ultimately to have some space have that yard for Gator uh, and I was very happy to have that historical charmer Gator come on <laughs> come, on, come on there we go ah uh, she's loving the yard it's way more space than our last place. After we moved in, we sat out on that front porch and got welcomed by so many neighbors. So uh, looking forward to having the community come by and being part of this great neighborhood. 